Okay, so we are going to actually be making the cover for our sketchbook. So if you don't have um, one already available to you, you'll be taking um, some paper and putting it inside of your sketchbook covers. And you may want a front and a back cover. And you can use anything. You can use, um, like if you have some cardstock laying around, or I actually just took a Amazon box, cut it up to the size I wanted, and then I started to create my um, piece of artwork. So I wanted to do, instead of, you can use the brown, or maybe you cover it with um, some a brown paper bag or something like that. But you could paint the background and I did a nice ombre and then another, you know, some other little designs. And on this one, I actually took just um, one of these newspapers that kind of always get delivered to your house. Um, and I cut it up and kind of found the plate spots that were the most blank or just had text on it so that I could draw over top of it. Now, um, I covered it all. I used a glue stick and there are some other um, videos that show you how you can actually do this. They are um, a little faster sped up, but it kind of shows you a little bit of it. Um, but with this, if you want to keep it simple, you could just take markers and you know write your name and do some different stuff like that um but what i was thinking we would do today instead of making it you know just a flat piece of artwork that we do all the time we're going to do something called collage not to confuse it with college or your favorite university but it's actually collage it's combining different materials onto one surface um to create a new piece of artwork. So what I think we could do, and I took, you know, and I collaged this stuff together. And then I, um, even on the one side, I kind of aged it. I don't know if you can see that color, but I took some uh, coffee and kind of stained it. So it smells like coffee too. but. What I'm gonna do, and it's a little loose right now, but we're gonna be putting a cover on it, so you'll be all right. But um, what I went ahead and did is I went and looked through, I had some magazines, but not a lot. So I went and went through like some ads and some different stuff like that and found my name in different letters. So you could do this. Maybe you want to cut out um, some different things you like. Um, that could go in here. Um, maybe some just some different colors. Maybe you really like animals. Maybe you got something else you really wanted on there. So I have some letters. Ms. McClellan. You can see that. And then I even have, you know, some little decorative pieces I found. And I like Starbucks, so I have a Starbucks cup and a taco. And we'll kind of see where those things go. But, so I have, I could again be done right there. But I kind of want to just keep on adding. So what I had done before is I actually drew on some paper and painted and made some of my own designs. So I would take and add some of these in here. So maybe I wanna move all this down. I should have maybe done that before. But I like to lay my stuff out first and that way I know how it fits on my page before I go ahead and commit to gluing it all down. Now, I can always cut some of these things off if I made them too big. I got my idea. I got my paintbrush. And I could glue this all down. And I like to overlap. Overlap means that you have things that go over top of one another, and it's not just um, all 
in its own space. So my letters are kind of overlapping and some of my papers are, and it's really filling this nice space. So maybe I won't use my sketch. Oh, that might look cool. So now I would glue it down now that I kind of got an idea of what I'm going to do. You could glue down with a glue stick and just make sure you have everything in place. But make sure you get enough on in there. So I can glue that down. Then I glue down my letters or you could also do, and I'm going to take some of this off here, Mod Podge, if you've ever used this, or um, a glue, regular glue would work, or, um, you know, any kind of sticky adhesive. But I like the Mod Podge because I'm going to end up using this later too. So, I'll stick that on there. I got my idea. And a lot of times you gotta really hold it down. So, I'm gonna go ahead and keep making this. And once I have it all done and everything's on here, I'm gonna take my Mod Podge and put a really thick layer of it on here so that it stays together. Now, I could do that, or you can take packaging tape and actually laminate it by putting the strips of packaging tape onto your paper, um, which I can show you in the next video as well. But what you want to do today is just start coming up with ideas. Maybe it's get your name on it somehow, or sketchbook, or you know, art, or whatever it is you want to put on it. Um, and find different pieces to collage. Maybe you want to start um, drawing some stuff to put on it. Maybe you want to just start doing your background and seeing where you're inspired from there. And this sketchbook doesn't have to be done in one sitting. I can do some of it, put it together, and then kind of keep going if I really want to keep adding to it. But what I think we want to just get creative and see what you can come up with. What can you add to your sketchbook? To make it unique and interesting um, like I said I'm gonna do a, I have another video that's more sped up of me doing this so you can kind of see the process but in the end what I would will do for this is put hole punches in here so that'll be in the other video as well but um, I just want you to get started, get creative, and start making your sketchbook covers. Again, it can be super simple where you use just markers and pencils, or you can start collaging with us, which I think would be really fun for you to try out. And you can use anything for your collage. It does not have to just be magazines. You can make your own pieces to go into the collage. So maybe there's some sketches you don't know what to do with, or some stickers you really love, Maybe that goes on there. So I hope you enjoy doing this lesson. There's also um, uh, some co uh, on your document, you'll have step by instru step instructions of kind of watching from this, but this was a kind of a quick overview to let you know how you can make it happen. So enjoy, I can't wait to see your art.